Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today is Scorpio. This is a collective tarot reading session for you Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is your collective reading. We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Let us see what's coming towards you, okay? What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. We'll start with your channeled message. And then we'll look at your focus. We'll look at your situation. We'll look at your energy. And if there is a red flag, we will pick it up. We will counter the negative vibe. And then we'll see what's coming towards you in love, career, money, and general situation. Okay, this is for the Scorpio sign. What can I get for the Scorpio sign, please? Thank you guys for your support. Wait, I feel like using this as the main deck. Please don't forget to click the bell, Scorpio. And also... I suggest that you also follow me with my main channel. I've got a main channel. The name of the main channel is Sunshine. Please also follow me there. Pretty, pretty, please. Ooh, look at that. What's coming towards you? The sun, the hermit, the fool card, the three of cups, the high priestess, the nine. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's start your reading. So you have the Emperor, okay? You've got a Three of Swords. Nothing can stop you, Scorpio. Whatever you're going through, it's just a problem. You know the solution, okay? Um, the Emperor card, it looks like you're really wanting to get rid of a specific problem. You know, you're really... I don't know, but I'm kind of picking up this problem. Why it never stopped, okay? There's something about you that, you know what, sunshine? I've been having this problem for quite some time now. I want it done. I want it. It's either I want to fix it or I want to get rid of it. So I'm really picking up an emperor Scorpio wear. Let's keep it short. You don't want it, fine. You want it, stay. So you're easy peasy with the Emperor card. The way you are navigating with things is that the way you look at the way you look at your past energy, past situation, like your vibe right now. If you click the video, whether it's because of the thumbnail, because of me, because of the title, there's something in your vibe where you're keeping things simple and also not only that but there's something in your vibe Scorpio where people around you they cannot see the problem you can see it right away with the three of swords in here because I don't know for some reason this three of swords it doesn't threaten me like it doesn't bother me the three of swords yeah seven of swords you have you have a problem for every sorry you have a solution for every problem you would notice the next couple of days, there's a problem, you know the solution. If someone is pinpointing, hey, this is a problem. Hey, this is that. Hey, this is that. You have a solution. So you are an emperor. You have a solution for every problem. Someone could be nitpicking your job, your role, I don't know. But they have absolutely, they will absolutely shut up because someone is going to say this you have a solution someone's gonna say this i've got a solution someone is gonna critic this you have a counter so this is the wave okay this is your vibe so the next couple of days you're moving in such an exponential like you're sprinting some people walk to solve the problem you jump you see a problem you solve it people comes to you if they have issue you know what to say so you're like a guru or there's something that you're in control like this is you you're like a watchdog what's the problem solve it this one solve it you solve it talk it out so you're ready your your vibe gives me six of cups i don't want delay i want my life moving 
I am an emperor. I sit here. There's a problem. I know how to do it. It's either I don't want to do it or I'm going to do it. But the thing is, you being an emperor, you exactly know what to do. So, for example, me, my problem, <laughs> I'm getting fatter <laughs> because of the coffee machine. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of coffee lately, so I'm getting fatter. I know the problem. I'm getting bigger because I keep drinking lots of full cream fatty milk. So what's the solution? Stop drinking. So you, that's a metaphor. You, you know the problem. If you're not fixing it, it's either you're lazy or you don't want to do it. But you know exactly the solution to the problem. If you ask, like if someone is like venting, like if you're procrastinating or someone is venting or procrastinating, or it could be you, if I'm talking to you, if I ask you, what's the solution? You would know. So Scorpio, you are a solution. Whatever the problem of the world, you have the freaking solution. Okay. If I ask you, what's your problem? This, what's the solution? You will tell me exactly how to solve it. So whatever is bothering you, you have a solution. Don't tell me you don't have a solution because you have a clever solution, Scorpio. You know, sometimes if we have a problem, sometimes we just need a little bit of laugh and a walk to the fridge, <laughs> a little bit of inspiring video <laughs> and problem solved. Scorpio, life is too short. We're all going to be dead. Do it. Solve it. If you're not solving it, then you don't want to solve the problem. But, you know, cheeky, very cheeky. Yeah, this is it. You have a problem. Scorpio knows the solution. Eight of Pentacles. Please, Scorpio. Mercury in Scorpio. Where is Venus? Mars in Scorpio. So you're a magnet. You're going to be annoyed. A lot of people want you because you're giving solution. Not only that they will talk to you, you provide. You're like a doctor. They come to you. They consult. Here's your solution. They need emotional. They need love. They need support. They need money. They just go to your room. There's a solution. Scorpio, you are a super Scorpio solution. But don't forget to solution yourself, whatever problem you got. Just have fun, okay? I don't know what's going on, but it's there's something funny in here. Like, I don't know. But maybe you've got big problems. Sometimes we just need a laugh. Just to lighten up the burden, Scorpio. Don't forget to laugh. Don't forget to laugh, Scorpio. Yes, this is you. You even fall in love with a problem. Do you believe in that? Yeah. If there is a pro try to fall in love with a problem, then you will intensely fix it. And it's beautiful. Life is too short. Have a laugh. Have a walk to the fridge. You will see some chocolates. You see nice food. You will feel how nice it is to be alive. Life is a gift, Scorpio. Spend your time wisely. Spend your time and energy wisely. This is you looking at your time, your money, your timeline. Tick tock, tick tock. So whatever you can do it now. You know, we, we always say, oh, I want to do it. Oh, I want to go for a diet. I'll do it tomorrow. Do it now. Do it now. You can never have the same day again. Okay? So cheer up, Scorpio. There's always going to be a problem. The Today's reading, laugh, sleep, repeat. Tomorrow you'll have a solution. I tell you, one good laugh, just one Good friend, laugh, good event. Ooh, your tank is full. Promise. I promise you. I think you promise you. Now, the second part of the reading is where it gets excited. Who is coming towards you? You're going to date again. So, November, December, there is a very eager, eager offer, eager lover, like this sun card. You are coming back to me, Scorpio. Someone in a romantic space, okay, the sun card. Someone romantically is wanting to have, to date you. They want to date, they want to spin off. Because the sun card and the three of cups, they definitely would like to make you feel that um, they want to date you. They had a misopportunity with you. Yeah, nine and tower card. They regret that. Um, it feels like, for some reason, I believe them. This is not an ex, okay? This is not an ex. This is just someone you dated. This is not an ex. This is just someone you dated. 
And I believe this person, when you met them, they're actually nine of wands, the tower card, like a breaking point. This person, nine of wands, the tower card, they're like in such a bad condition. You know, like you met them at the point where everything is worst, but they fall in love with you, but they could not be with you. Now this person would like a reset. Like this is a very straightforward. There's a major um there's a major move that this person is building up you're gonna date again you would see this person in your dreams okay one of these days this person will show up in your dreams they're smiling and in the dreams you will feel how it is to be with them okay as someone you're dating they feel so bad that they have displayed such i don't know because this is them nine of wands, the tower card. I'm so bad. I should have showed. Like this person. This person, they know that you're such a catch. But they they have behaved embarrassing. Like, you know, like this is a person who feels like, okay, I'm so, I'm so, so I'm so bad. Like, um, Scorpio is such a good catch. Why did I behave that way? If I behave with other people who only cheated on me why did i behave this way with scorpio so they regret behaving maybe rude maybe ghosting but they behave so they they showed you a not so good behavior and they regret that and the thing is the way this person comes to me is that you're such you're such a catch scorpio i should have behaved properly with you they're reflecting that you know the Hermit card could be a Virgo, but they are so regretful of behaving incorrectly towards you. This person realized that you're such a good catch, you're such a good person, you're extraordinary, you're amazing. There's something beautiful and so enticing towards you, and yet they behave bad. So this person would like to correct everything that you're, you're like somehow your impression of them like you have an impression to them and they would like to remove that that bad impression they want to remove the bad impression they want to remove the bad feelings they want to make it up with you in such a way that i want you scorpio to know that i've got some good stuff i'm respectful i'm lovable i i've got something to show you but i wasn't able to show you in the past i acted Maybe rude, maybe immature, maybe, I don't know, maybe this person, they always come to you, but they're not prepared, you know. Um, they're hot mess. <laughs> they're in a mess. The Eight of Swords. So, they're kind of thinking of something grand. Yeah, Seven of Cups, this is them. How do I express my return? This way, this way, this way. Seven of Cups. Wow, look at that, Scorpio. Like, this is a person who, maybe in the past, they would just randomly text you. Can I see you today? Because it's convenient for them. Or, can I do this? Can we, you know, like, they're not prepared. Let's put it this way. This person, Scorpio, in the past, they were not prepared. They were not prepared of how they will date you. How they will connect with you. How things would, they're not prepared. Like, they like you. They're probably in love with you, but they don't have a plan. And they realize that you are such a good catch. They regret that. So this person is going to be over the top. Like uh, they will be very hands-on and very, they will really show you who they are. Because I don't think this person is going to, like this person's like more of like, I don't want to, you know, it's, they want to show you best foot forward, but that's not them. Like, they just really want to show you who they really are, how authentic they can be, and how nice they are. I think they've shown you the worst. Because during that time, they were in the dark. They were not such in a good space, head space, heart space, also spiritually. So now this person was able to pull such, you know, hermit card. So I'm going to show you who, I, who am I. If other people who neglected me, betrayed me, I show them the best of me. Why not show it to a super Scorpio? You deserve it. So someone is like, I want to show you who, 
who I am and how can I remove the impression of the impression Scorpio. Okay, so prepare for that. Now you've got the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles in here. I feel like it's connected to it's connected to um. I feel like Scorpio, the High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles. It's connected to money. Okay, it's connected to money. It's connected to expansion. It's connected to lifestyle. It's connected to life. Okay, the High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles. Somehow, um, it looks like you might be going through some upgrade or update, Scorpio. Um, I feel like for some of you, you might be getting a tattoo, okay? Like a symbolism, like you might get a tattoo because of a symbolism of you have survived um, a health issue. Like there's something of here that it's very spiritual and it's very connected to your life. Like, very soon, you will feel that you've reached a milestone. A start, like, you've reached a mile, like a celebration. Okay, the High Priestess, the Nine of Pentacles, you will celebrate your life. You will celebrate an area of your life where you have survived or you have reached a certain, maybe, maybe it's for some of you, whether it's big or small, you will celebrate it. There's something in here that it's, that's a call for celebration. And to celebrate this, this big or small milestone, for some of you, you get that you get a tattoo. For some of you, you finally will buy something to honor yourself. You're going to buy something very significant to represent a milestone or something to celebrate. Okay, There's something that you need to be proud of. I don't know, but I'm really picking up Scorpio. You've been working so hard. You've been so kind to others, but for some of you guys, you're not kind to yourself. It's time to really honor yourself, honor your life. A milestone, I'm kind of picking up in here. You're going to get a tattoo. You're going to get something. So you're going to buy something. And the symbolism of that material, gaining it, you having that material thing, it represents something deep. Something very significant. So go for it, Scorpio, okay? Like your intuition is yearning. Like sometimes a ma sometimes an object or sometimes a material that we possess, it's, it signifies something really important into our life. So for example, elephant. So elephant, I travel everywhere because elephant represents to me of abundance. And the person who gave that to me, she has embedded it with such a magical power and she gave it to me at my lowest point where she said i hope you you know i hope this elephant gave you so much luck and so much money and so much abundance and it did not just monetarily but it's such it symbolizes you it symbolizes the channel you just know you just know you, you just don't know scorpio how much you have helped me you know, whenever I'm sad or feeling blue, I just blog. I just blog. It's not all. Of, it's not about money anymore. It's about keeping it, and it's part of my DNA now for this channel. It's a work of art, exactly. It's a work of art. So there's something in your there's something in your life. It's a work of art. It is whether it's something that you have achieved out of pain. It's still a milestone. It's something to, to be celebrated for. Whether you're celebrating it because you want to, whether you're buying it to celebrate something, go for it. It's your, it's your time to shine, Scorpio. Okay? So this is your reading. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for connecting with me and spending time with me. It's such a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I hope you like it. If you do, please click the bell. Click subscribe. And Scorpio, I will see you soon again, guys. Thank you for the coffee. Thank you for the love notes. I'll see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.